Go to your comments about the game. Um, <clears throat> I thought that, you know, we knew the game was going to be very physical. We knew that uh, and we prepared for that and we wanted to be the aggressor first. Uh, it didn't work so well in the beginning, but then we found our rhythm. We were very happy about that. Mm. After halftime, they really scored a lot of points in the third quarter. We couldn't get our pick and roll defense going anymore. Um, and I've got to uh, pay respect to the guys, though, because, you know, after like getting punched in the face a little bit like that, you know, with the third quarter, they just like, kept their head up, kept their chest up and were focused to like, you know, grind it out at the end. So respect to the guys. About that fourth quarter, the team was struggling on offense for more than five minutes, scoring zero points in that, <coughs> in that stretch. Uh, what was not working in the stretch? Um, we didn't get the ball moving anymore. Uh, in, the, in the first half, we were moving the basketball pretty nicely. And uh, um, everything got tight, you know, tight score. Um, game is on the line, classic, right? And how does one get the ball moving? And, uh, and, and we just didn't get the ball moving. I thought that was the main reason for not scoring the basketball. Coach, how we could rate the defense against uh, Jordan Lloyd? I don't know. I've got to watch. But <clears throat> what what I know is that uh, Rokas uh, Jokobaitis played a lot of minutes um, because he seemed to be the guy who, um, you know, like uh, like was best suited for the matchup. Um, how it was now overall, we'll uh, we'll have to watch on video. But. Going into the game, that matchup was, of course, an extremely tough matchup and gave us headaches, you know, because uh, it's not easy to like contain like a scorer like him. You mentioned Rokas playing the a lot of minutes. He played the most in the team. That's the most for him in his career. Mm -hmm. Was it something in your game plan or just something you saw during the game and progressed from that? Uh, the second, the second. Uh, it was not planned to play him that long. Um, <clears throat> minutes are a big topic, especially in these like double rounds, you know. So, um, you know, the plan is not to play somebody like up to 30 minutes. Uh, but if the game asks for it, you know, then you've got to do it, right? We're not computers who kind of like put in numbers and minutes and go from there. I thought the game asked for it. He was very good in the first half offensively. And then we felt he was the best matchup for Jordan Lloyd. And, and that's how it went. It was not the best game for Thomas Walker. But uh, how much did Lucas and Rotter help uh, picking up the slack? Uh, massively, with their speed. I know that Lucas had a very, very good game in this gym two or three years ago. Uh, we talked about that before the game, so I, I, I think he still had it in his head. Um, his speed, his speed against Kuzmich especially, like was was very crucial for us to to put the ball in the basket. And you know, um, that's that's what it is. You know, it's a, it's a team sport, and everybody jumps in and you know if you think about how how a great a game Tom had last game uh, you know and now somebody else jumps in that's uh, that's what like a team is is about how much do you think Augustin Rubid has improved during the last couple of weeks oh I mean I, I don't know if he's improved I want to say he's found himself he's found a rhythm right we're finding a role for him you know because he's an 31 year old player with a lot of experience you know so I think it's it's not so much about the improvement, it's more about like finding your role, finding your rhythm. And I do think that he is finding that, absolutely. The team is 3-0, the best start for Jardim since 2012. Did it, anybody expect on the team that? Um, <clears throat> we, we never talked about it. We go game by game. I know it sounds very, you know, like fishy or romantic, but it's game by game, you know. So we really never talked about it. and. And now the next game is in front of our chest in 48 hours. When the team is playing in, in empty gyms like that, we can hear all the sounds, all the energy from the bench. Uh, how much do you think is that helping for the guys on the court to hear uh, all that support from the bench? If you get the support from the bench, then it helps definitely. And, um, you know, with our group, um, you know, somebody, and I don't want to say like one person because it is not one person, but you have to mention uh, uh, Paulius Jankunas because like Yankee is just like such a like vocal guy out there, you know, and helps everybody in every pick and roll coverage. And, you know, if you have that consistently without fans, it plays a big role. Coach, is double week. Uh, what is the team plan for the next couple of days? I mean, you know, 48 hours. So now we've got to get out of here. Then we go to bed, we sleep here, we fly tomorrow morning because we need the good night's sleep. Um, that's important for us. Um, and then, you know, we'll meet tomorrow as we get to Konas. We'll uh, have a short walkthrough and regeneration. And then we we'll meet for shoot around the next day to uh, get ready for Ephes. 
Simet, ažybos. Lošimo automatai. Rulėti. Neatsakingas lošimas gali sukelti priklausomybę.